Ready to learn how to install a smoke alarm? Let's do it! Now, I'm probably still going to undo this one wire nut at a time. Okay, that was my yellow. And on this one, I got black, white, and red. So obviously, I'm going I'm to put my red over here. I'm just going to hold that just like how the other one was. Okay. And see, if, if your power was, was still hot up here, you could do it one at a time. It's not going to hurt you because you're not going to have any two wire nuts off at the same time. If you had two wire nuts off and then if you touched one and, and hit it with your hand or something, oh, you're going to get a shock. Believe you me, that's just how it happens. But, you know, it was on a 15 amp uh, breaker. It's not going to whack you too hard, but depending what happens, if you're on a, a metal ladder, if your hands are wet, or anything like that. I just wouldn't, I just wouldn't recommend it, okay? Not at all. One wire nut at a time. I'm acting as though the power is still on. And once I get the wire nut on, I can kind of pull on the pull on the wires and make sure everything's fine. Okay. Because sometimes you can get a wire nut tight thinking that everything's on there, and then all of a sudden one wire, one wire is loose, let's say, okay? Bye-bye. That was on there for 10 years, 11 years actually, okay? I'm going to hold that there, my wire nut on there, tighten it up. Righty-tighty, lefty-loosey. <laughs> okay? See, you can do this, even if you're not an electrician. I'm not an electrician. I'm not a professional electrician, but you don't have to be to do this. I know you can do it, too. Okay, you remember how this is going to go? I'm going to kind of rearrange these wires a little bit like that. We know these are going to have to be bent about halfway like they were before. So I'm going to get them and bend them halfway about where they were when I took it off, right? Now I can push that up there and swivel that up just like before. Kind of push my flexi wires in the middle, sort of, okay? So they're kind of coming down all together like that. Yeah? That's your next step. Now I thought this smoke alarm might have the mounting screws with it, but it doesn't. And I don't really need any other screws. I just reuse these. And this is set up uh, for a different screw size for your, your plastic box. Okay. If your box wasn't that size, you can flip it around that way. See, that way is too short. So I know it's going to go this way. I put it right in the middle and I can slide it that way or I can... See, if I slide it the other way, that's for a slightly smaller or wider box. So you've got enough for three different size boxes up here. You can swivel that to wherever it fits and I know that's where it is. Now I can gently snug this up to the ceiling. I don't want to over tighten it, just snug. Okay. There. We're almost done with this. Okay. And I look at the whole pattern. I look at the, the little nibs on the back. Obviously I have to do it just right. I want to make sure it's snapped in there and I've got some little side goodies. It looks like that's going to do that. And you can, you can take this and you can kind of pop it in there down on the ground, make sure it works right. You know, it snaps in. 
Make sure you get it pushed all the way in, however yours is. Yours might be slightly different than this. Okay. Now I can, I can hold it up there, and I know it's going to fit in a notch up here. I'm just going to kind of turn this until I know where it fits. And, and see, it's fitting right there. Now I'm going to tighten it up to the right. Let's see. There. Okay. And it kind of click, 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 click. And I've got it snug. Now to take it off, there's a little deal on the side. There'll be some somewhere. And not all are created equal, like I said. Then you can, you can kind of... Ooh. You have to push that in a little bit. Ah. Ah. Doesn't seem to want to go. Oh, I see. You, pull, you have to pull down on it and then click it to get it off. See, you don't want to you don't want to get it so tight on there as you're ratcheting in it, so that next time you go to loosen it up, you you actually take the whole back off too. And this almost started sliding, and I had to kind of hold that because I only made it snug. I guess I could have tightened that just a hair, but you know, even if that were to slide off, let's say ten years from now. You could, put, you could still take the whole thing off if these set screws are loose to take that off too. But, you know, I wouldn't really recommend that because you don't know if the paint's going to stick to that and you might start ripping the paint all right off the sheetrock, let's say. Okay, so I got, I got it back in there. I know I'm snug and now I'm going to turn it to the right and now I'm going to click it on there. And I can, I can feel it right there. And I just, I don't have to go any further until, before I know that it's snug. This thing is snug and it's locked in there. And I'm almost ready to turn it on. Mark that one off our list.